so we have been in contact with the government of Israel about this strike. They have said to us essentially what they have said publicly, which is that, uh, and this is this is th their claim that they were targeting 20 to 30 uh, members of Hamas and other militant groups. That they used a precision strike uh, to target only one part of the building without um, uh, hitting areas where civilians uh, were sheltering. At the same time. We've seen the reports on the ground. We've seen the videos from the ground. We've seen the claims that 14 children were killed in this strike. And certainly when um, you see, if that is accurate, that 14 children uh, were killed, th those aren't terrorists. And so the government of Israel has said that they are going to release more information about this strike, including the names of those uh, who died in it. We expect them to be fully transparent. Uh, in making that information public. With respect to the policy that the President announced, he was speaking specifically to a large-scale operation in Rafah. And we have not yet seen a large-scale operation conducted in Rafah. That said, um, we have seen strikes that put civilians in danger well before the President said that. And we have made clear to the Government of Israel that we expect them to do everything that they can to minimize civilian harm. Um, have they taken every step possible? Uh, we have seen them take improvements over, over time, but still, if it if it bears true that this strike it resulted in the death of 14 children, the results aren't where they need to be. So it gets back to this question of intent and results. Even if the intent is what the uh, IDF has said publicly that they were trying to hit use a precision sh precision strike just to target 20 to 30 militants. If you have seen 14 children die in that strike, that shows that something went wrong. That said, these are all facts that need to be verified, and that's what we want to see happen.